Ah, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Okay, let's quickly bring you to what is currently going on in Nigeria. Oh, between Wiki and Tiku. Um, I think there's still a lot of um, political wrangling going on in PDP. Uh, Wiki, I don't think it's going to back down. Um, Atiko has to find a way uh, to resolve these uh, grievances between him and Wiki, and um, especially the G5. Uh, still a lot of tumors in this and that particular uh, party. Um, I'm not sure whether if Atiku uh, uh, didn't find a way uh, to reconcile with this uh, Wiki's issues. Um, I don't know how Atiku is going to uh, governance a lot of uh, votes, um, especially in the state where all these G5s uh, are controlled. But uh, there's a lot of things going on there at this moment. And uh, I mean, if you recall that uh, Mr. Wiki, uh, Nelson Wiki, uh, recently have insisted that um, the G5 are consensus uh, governors. Uh, that they don't have any problems with the current uh, presidential candidate, which is the uh, People's Democratic Party, uh, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. And uh, um, speaking, what they're saying is that uh, uh, they look at Nigerians and those who oppose uh, the zoning of the chairman first uh, was the one of those that said that uh, zoning of the chairman should go to the north because i believe that the presidency should go to the south so it, sometimes uh some people i say that look what we is currently going on about is um is beyond uh, uh, a political uh, uh i mean we don't have to have any here to be honest with you wiki is the only candidate in the g5 that is not contesting for senate or is not going for any uh, governorships uh, position so but sometimes if some people might say look um, it, uh, it, it, it cannot dominate the party's uh, uh, constitutions but if you also look at it's a lot of the points that this guy is trying to emphasize is uh, it's just saying look if one president if the president is going to the north uh, the chairman should go to the south and uh, that is what Atiku should have implemented. But if Atiku cannot do that at this present state, uh, uh, definitely that shows that Atiku doesn't doesn't actually uh, recommended or or uh, have a kind of belief that president can come from this house. Uh, all this uh, hypocrisy and kind of uh, means of 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 of. I mean, thinking that because he has a, a, a vice president that is coming from the south, so automatically once he finish, he will allow the south to, to take over. No, and I think it's the turn of the south. To be honest, I mean, you guys might not have uh, anything to do, but uh, but but one thing I recommended that uh, the presidency, as it's gone to the north, the chairman should go to the south. That is what the camp That is what the G five people are really actually. Uh, campaigning for and um, if you remember they also said they attended meetings of the southern governors um, where they agreed uh, that presidency should go to the south that's based on what they have agreed and when the zoning committee that was set up and uh, the same article has to go to buy forms and to frustrate the recommendation of the zoning committees and um, so i think you can see that article have definitely uh, before the inception of this, you can see that the process is, is completely wrong. So, and that is what happened, saying that when they have brought, bought the forms, uh, you would tell people, you can't tell people to withdraw once they have spent their money to buy the forms. So, invariably, what they have agreed, according to what G5s were saying, that uh, when they set up the committee, they've already agreed that uh, the South should be in the positions to take the presidency 
and during that period, Atiko secretly went to go and buy the forms. So shows that uh, Atiko has a plan. So if Atiko has been already been frustrating the, I mean the the decision of the of the of the party, um, bef before he might become a presidential aspirant. So definitely, you can't expect other G five not to not to stand by what decisions they they they're complaining about. So and all and they said they have to stoop for equities. Uh, thinking about equities, fairness, justice. And the, even the governors of the Benin State, uh, Simon Alton's uh, um, efforts to microzone it to the southeast is not even necessary. But people know those who are who doesn't even want the president to come to the southeast. So if you are a bad product, then you are you are a bad product. Uh, if you are a good, then you are a good product. And uh, they say you we, you work for somebody for eight years that is what article is telling uh, the current uh, labor party that how can you work for someone for eight years and recommended another person and you blame your boss for recommending another person not me so in your principle cannot recommend them then there is something fundamentally wrong uh, so people went to lobby for a principle for a principal to recommend them and it took your principal a long time before you wrote all Nigerians. So I am not the ones who said it. Everybody should carry their problems wherever their problems are. Uh, leave me alone. That's what uh, Autumn says. And they also said that Wiki uh, have urged uh, uh, Ipada and some people not to vote for all Progressive Party APC in the forthcoming elections. Uh, also berated the former Minister of Transportation, uh, Rotimia Amishi, for not initiating a meaningful project in the state as a minister. And uh, so he said he's also watched the former governor carry his business partners, saying that they would vote for him and he's going to do well. Why he, he will not do well? When you sold our gas, uh, to to buy to your to your governorship's uh, candidate, Wiki is just going against anybody. He is going against Amishi. That when Amishi make Ami, Amishi was in governors, and uh, away with his candidate. Even when you say you you love River State, and I and I agreed, but you didn't even cite a school where you are not even living. That you even you were even born in a query land and does not even make you an a query man that is not even a legitimate uh, uh uh she did law lloyd and did not defense in the assembly because of the amishi to the point that they don't even have to gather the state assembly uh to the governor house for for the interest of amishi so wiki is also having issues with amishi that amishi didn't actually do anything when he was a governor so which is the current minister of transportations and um there's a lot of things that Wiki wasn't happy about. So I'm not sure who can resolve these issues. So this is a continuous issue that will keep on going on. So Atiku At has to find a way to, to, to resolve these issues because Atiku is the one that says that, look, I am a unifier. You can't even unify this G5 complaints, grievances, on, on, on fear on fear comments that they've, they've been lambating on APDA, PPDP. They even said that they're not even against Atiku presidency. They're just against what they have agreed. And if they have agreements and agreements, why can't the party stick to the agreement? So, and Wiki also reacts uh, even to people that complain about the endorsement of uh, the president candidate of Labour Party, uh, Peter Obi, uh, the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo. I think Olusegun Obasanjo had recently that he wants people, not want people to vote, he just want people to use their vote, think about what they're doing, vote for the right kind of candidate. But for him, he believed that Labour Party is the right man. And Wiki, who said, who, who, and Wiki is thinking that how can you, you you mock the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party? 
PDP is saying that something is fundamentally wrong for one's principles and to recommend another person for a position. So what Wiki is saying that, uh, look, how can somebody recommend Atiku uh, uh, to become a presidency at this particular point in time? So, um, and Obasanjo job uh, had in a letter to Nigerian youth, urging Nigerians to support Peter Obi. And it's nothing that the country needs. Uh, a selfless, courageous, honest, patriotic, in short, outstanding leaders. Any leader that has characters, the fear of God, beyond what uh, we had in the recent past. And it's true, because what Ambassador John wants is that John John is thinking about the, 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 the current situation of the country. And he wants the youth to vote for the right, courageous man, which is... Uh, uh, Peter will be so, but based on that, Wiki accused also Atiku and his people of going to Obasanjo just to lobby for recommendations. He advised Atiku to blame Obasanjo and leave G5 governors alone. His word is if you had a bad product, you are a bad product. So, what is saying that uh, P PDP has a bad product? So, what do you expect? members and all the are you, are you saying that all the members of pdps are bad products saying because it is also part of the pdp so if you're good you are a good product uh while calling me an autumn you work under somebody the person that have recommended to nigerians another person is it me did you know what is called recommendations my god uh, I worked with someone for eight years and we are using it to campaign that when we are in office, we did well. Then my boss is recommending another person, not me. There's something fundamentally wrong. So, so Wiki is not really happy. This is completely out of order. This is, I don't know where this one is going on. These issues of uh, uh, parties, uh not 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 heading to the place where they're supposed to be doing um pdp have to have to find a way i'm not sure those those supporter of pdps uh, don't know what actually they are currently thinking of now and also the people from the north i don't know what you guys are thinking about um whether atiku is the right man for nigerians in this current dispensations um um, you have guys have to just use your voice wisely, as recommended by uh, Basojo. Because if you recall, yeah, man, if you recall, Basojo's era is one of the best era Nigerians ever had. So, yes, Basojo had uh, Vice President Atiku as his Vice President during that period of the era, but but majority of the programs initiated, it's not initiated by Atiku. Um, Obasanjo is the one that put in some of these initiations and turned the economics of the countries around. Um, some people might say, look, yes, it's not only Obasanjo that does all the work because Atiku was also one of the economic councils during that period of time. But uh, but majority of these are actually initiated by the president, which is uh, Obasanjo. So Obasanjo doesn't want Nigerians to think twice. Look for the courageous and fear god fearing president someone that we someone that is drunk we don't need someone that is old more than six more than 60 or going to 70. we want someone that is young vibrant someone that has the energy uh, to move things around so i think peter will be standing big big chances so as I'm not, I'm not campaigning for Nigerians to vote for Mr. B, but I just feel that OB is the right candidate at this time around. So this is what I have for you guys today. And um, guys, if you know you have your own opinions, um, you can make your own comment. You can write any any comments, and you feel that um, how to resolve the issues between the Tikus and uh, and uh, Wiki. So. Um, so I will look forward to seeing you, but also don't forget to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will speak to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye for now.